let us pray. Our precious Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you adoration because you are God. You are wonderful. You are excellent. You are dependable. You are reliable. Thank you for this time. We appreciate you for giving us life. We want to look into your world so that we can be wiser unto salvation. Speak to us, Lord, for we are ready to hear from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. One more time, I greet you in the name of Jesus. I'm happy to come your way again. I'm your friend, your sister, evangelist, Mrs. Naomi Ege. With the voice of hope and the voice of victory. My topic today says, you are the choice you make. You are the choice you make. Life is made up of choices. And men are given a free will to choose whatever they want to become in life. Amen. When God created man, Adam and Eve, he gave them a big garden. Everything was in it. And he told them not to go to a particular one. They went there and they plucked and ate. Trouble started. You had the choice you make. In life today, we are very fast in drawing conclusions. Oh, it's because my parents were poor. Oh, it's because there was nobody to help me. Oh, it's because of this or that, that I'm where I am today. I've got to correct that notion. I tell you, that might not be correct. You are not successful because your parents were poor. You are not under because your parents were poor. We have seen the sons and daughters of rich men, men of affluence, wasting away. So, our life is the choice we make. It's the choice we make that determines the kind of life we live. I was once told a story. A young hunter went to the bush to hunt. He caught a young eaglet, brought it home, and added it to the chickens. But the eaglet and the chickens were growing together. And one day, the eaglet looked at himself and said, No, I am bigger and better than these chickens. I don't think I belong here. He decided to look up. And as he looked up, he saw a mighty eagle soaring in the air. And the young eaglet said, Yes, that is where I belong. I don't belong to this place. So he hopped and jumped spread his wings and began to soar with the other eagles. Praise the Lord. That story simply means when you find yourself in a situation that is not acceptable to your spirit, begin to make moves on how to get out of it. Heaven and your destiny will answer to the choice that you make. Amen. In Psalm 115, 16, we are told that when God finished creating the whole earth, he made heaven his place and the earth is supposed to. He gave you an eye dominion to be in charge of this world. He gave us power to dominate situations and circumstances. He gave us power to accept and reject those things that will not add value to our lives. So you are the choice you make. Choose what you want to be. Choose what you want to be and choose what you want to do with your life. The power is with you. That your parents were poor does not mean you must be poor. That your parents were under does not mean you must be under. No. Tell yourself that like that young eaglet, I don't belong to this category. Some people are very proud. 
being beggars. My brother, my sister, it is a wrong mentality. Those people you are going to beg for, they made a choice. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it. It is wrong to be the colony of beggars. It's a choice to be there. I see colony of beggars everywhere. You see them sitting down. They are just waiting for somebody to come and bring, bring, bring food for them. And as they see anybody come, they start running. Because that's just their vision. Very short-sighted. So I have come with this message of hope and encouragement to let you know that you can make a choice today to be great in life. Hallelujah. Let's quickly go to the scriptures and look at the book of Hebrews chapter 11 from verse 21 to 27. When Moses was born, because of the circumstances surrounding his birth, his mother dropped him in the riverside where the princess of Egypt used to come and take their bath. And lo and behold, Moses was taken to the palace. He grew up in the palace with all the razzmatazz, with all it takes to live a successful life, a comfortable life. But Moses remember his background because his mother was always telling him. His mother happened to come and be his nurse in the palace. Now you don't belong here. And Moses agreed with the mother. And the Bible says when he grew up, he refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasure of sin for his season. If it's me and you today, say, ah, thank God, oh, that my poor mother. No! God has a plan for you. He does not want you to be under. He created you for a purpose. You have to discover that you don't belong to a certain category, a certain class. You are not supposed to be there. Whatever your mind does not accept, my friend, please come out of it today. Make the right choice. The first man we are going to look at here today, second man, sorry, is Joseph. Joseph was a young lad, the eleventh son of Jacob, who later became Israel. He had his elder brothers. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulon, Dan, Natalie, Gad, Asher, then Joseph and Benjamin. Whenever his father will send it to go and give them food, we discover that ah, what brother Reuben is doing is not good. What brother Levi is doing is not good. As a young boy, the eleventh of twelve sons of Jacob, he will always come back home with, to his father with a negative report concerning his elder brothers. He chose to live right. I pray for you today, you will choose to live right. It's not everything you accept. Don't accept failure. Don't accept the wrong company. Don't accept any situation and circumstance that's around your bed that will make you to move forward. Reject it, my friend, and come out of it that, like that young eaglet. Come out of it. Make the right choice. Tell yourself, I'm going to so on. I'm not a chicken. I'm an ego. Amen. Hallelujah. And what happened? Joseph was thrown into slavery because of the choice he made. You can make the right choice and people will ridicule you. It does not matter, but we are going to get there. Let them laugh at you. The English man said, he will last, 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 best. Amen. So, Joseph decided to live right. He was thrown into slavery. And when he got to the house of Potiphar, everything was there. He refused to compromise. He said, I am, I am a child of God. Though. I won't do the wrong thing. May you decide not to do the wrong thing. Because there's a portion of the Bible that can never be deleted. It's binding on everyone. No matter how highly placed we are. Galatians 6, 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man so that shall you. So Joseph knew who he was. And he decided to be embarrassed for righteousness sake. And what happened? Was taken to prison. And in the prison, God remembered him. Even when men are really clean you, they are trying to push you back. God will remember you. Choose to live right. You are the choices that you make. Two other young men, Caleb and Joshua, were the only adults that left Egypt who made it to Canaan. 
in the book of Numbers, chapter 13 and chapter 14, read through. You see, when Moses sent them out, they came with negative reports. Oh, we are like grasshoppers. It's a land that the boy is inhabitants. We were like grasshoppers before them. Great men, mountains, they were strong, strong men. And there was crisis in camp. But the Bible says two men, Caleb and Joshua, silenced the crowd and said, We see a land flow with milk and honey. Others were seeing giants, so others were seeing obstacles. The ten they saw obstacles. All they could see was obstacle. That's how some of us are today. My family did not get money. My father not go to school. My father not be your ass. Not do this. And so what? Are you your father? May what stop your father not stop you? May what stop your mother not stop you? The only thing that can stop you is your mind. That's why the Bible made us understand. As a man ticket in his heart. So he's. He said, be not conformed with this world, but be it transformed by the renewing of your mind. A renewed mind is a mind that understands that he or she is able. From today, look at yourself. I'm not a chicken. I'm an eaglet. I'm going to soar. Amen. And what happened? It was only Caleb and Joshua that really entered the land that flows with me and on. Finally, Jabez was born in sorrow. And his mother named him Jabez. And when this young man grew up, he said, lie. I will never be in sorrow. Sorrow can never be my name. And the Bible said, he cried to the God of heaven. That Lord will enlarge my coast. You will bless me indeed. Take it for a way far from me. That you will bless me all the days of my life. What did God do? God bless you. So for today, make the right choice. Live right. Greatness is smiling at you. Don't shut the door against greatness. Don't shut the door against success by your myopic vision. Following friends who don't have a destination. Doing things that will take you nowhere. May God deliver you in Jesus' name. So make the right choices. Now to succeed, what do I have to do? I should have the right mindset. The right mindset. Don't conform with this world. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Because the ways of the world, they lead to destruction. A right mindset, a mind after Christ, a mind that is after God, a mind that we choose to live right. That's the mind you receive today in Jesus. Secondly, tell yourself, I'm able, I can. All the houses in this my city are built my people. No one draw from the sky. I too, I'll be the house. I'll be successful. Have food on my table, have raiment, have money to take care of my family. Then I'm rich. Hallelujah. So believe in yourself. I am able. Don't be idle. Don't wake up in the morning and start pressing your phone. No. Do those things that will add value to your life. Amen. Don't be idle. Idleness is not good. Don't be a gossip. You are a woman. You are making noise. You cannot take one error and change it to a hundred error. That's sickness. May the Lord deliver you in Jesus' name. So take risk. You can make it. Yeah, those of us today who are talking to you, we took some risk. And today we thank God we took those risks. So take risk, my dear sister, my dear brother. You can make it. And above all, put God first. In whatever you do, trust this God of heaven. Whatever you believe in your heart, that's what God will say amen to. Hallelujah. So refuse to allow the circumstances surrounding your bed to tie you down. Lose yourself like the prodigal son. Lose yourself like that young eaglet. And say, I'm marching forward. Start little. Great things start small. May God bless you in Jesus' name. So this is our channel. You can, you can join us on YouTube for more messages and songs to the glory of God. Again, on TV. Like this world, share it. Tell others about the good news. And I pray that God Almighty, as you do that, will bless you in Jesus' name. Have you given your life to Jesus? He is the way, the truth, and the light. No one comment unto the Father but by Him. He is the life giver. So if you have not given your life to Jesus, as we have listened to this telecast, raise up your right hand if you want to give your life to Jesus as I lead you to him in prayers. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I acknowledge I am a sinner. Have mercy upon me. I know you came to die for me. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. 
For today I agree to be your child. Wipe my name from the book of destruction and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for accepting me. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. So go to any Bible believing church, wherever you are. Give your life to Christ, seven, settle down. Listen to the messages from the men of God, and you will be blessed in Jesus' name. From today, receive grace to make the right choice. It's well with you till I come your way again. Bye bye. God bless you.